this year. It's been hard. Just like this, this year, it's been like pulling teeth to get anything done. It's just the truth. Pulling teeth is no fun. And I'm telling you, anything that any church is doing this year, it's coming up hard. I'm telling you that. That's a fact. I've been a pastor. I've been a pastor for 36 years. And I have never, ever, ever, in all those 36 years, I've faced some tough stuff. Believe me. I've seen some, I've had, to, I've had to be involved in some really hard things. But I have never in my experience as a pastor faced anything like we faced this year. Amen. I'm telling you the devil has Amen. come against the church in every way that he can under every guise that he has, using every tool that he has, trying to defeat us in every way that he can. Amen. Amen. And I ain't talking about COVID. That's just a tool. Yeah. Amen. COVID is a virus. Amen. That's all COVID is. It's a virus. My friend, but when the devil gets a hold of something like that, he can make it much bigger. Amen. Amen. He can make it much more awesome. It's like a shadow. Amen. Like a shadow. Your shadow is... I'm directly behind me. Right now, my shadow is smaller than I am. Amen. But if the light was right, my shadow could be much, much bigger than me. Amen. And that's exactly what this thing is today. It's a shadow. Like David said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. But I want to thank you all for being here. We, and I want to thank Lester and the Wilder. I know what they've been through. I know I'm, I'm, they're, they're dear friends of mine. Uh, we work together real closely in the church down home. And, and I know what they've been through. And if you get an opportunity, please let them know that you appreciate it. Them, what they because it's been tough. I want you also to thank the park people here. They've been through a tough decision. All of the park people here, they've had it's been tough. It ain't been easy, folks. This didn't happen easy. This come hard. But I'm glad that we had year 70. How many can we say amen? amen? Amen. Let's give God some glory. We had year 70 and the rest. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hey, welcome the Hubbard family. Oh, we are so honored to have taken part in this singing this weekend, and it's been a blessing for us. An honor to be here. The sweet presence of the Lord that we felt, it's been so precious, so true. I appreciate Him most of all for passing by our way, visiting this little holler, this little mountain, and thank Him so much for His mercy that endureth forever. Thank Him so much that we have a help, a present help in the time of need. Thank God that He's there when we need Him. When I fail, when I come short, he's always there. I appreciate him so much. Pray for us. We try to lift up the Lord in song. Sometimes my life 
gets tangled and it's hard to fulfill. Although I failed you many times, hard still true. And I gave my life to be used by you. Lord, help me to stand tall. Lift your name above him all. Show the world that you died for all me. Please forgive me of my sin. Enjoyed the weekend here at the breaks. Amen. It's sure been good, ain't it? I've enjoyed it as well. Boy, and Jackson's done some good singing a while ago too, didn't he? Eddie, Brother Ronnie, everybody I've heard has just done an uplift and joy in my heart here this morning. Glad I'm saved. Glad my name's wrote in the Lamb's Book of Life. Without him, I could not make it. He is the only way, Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. And there is no other way. I'm glad I got acquainted with him for myself. And I know who he is. And he wrote my name in that book. I thank God today that when I stand before him and the books are open and the other little book, which is the Lamb's Book of Life, my name will be recorded there. And I can hear him say, well done, my good and faithful servant. God bless your heart. It's so easy to see how salvation can be given from the Son of Humanity. Oh, it's not by works of faith, but it's only by God's grace that one can live eternally. Render your heart to the one who was nailed upon the cross. Render your heart to the one who paid the cost. If in the blood you believe, salvation you'll receive. Heart to the one who died on Calvary. In Revelation we read of the heaven we shall see when everyone shall bow on bend the knee. Every tongue shall confess he is who he said, Lord of lords and King of kings. Render your heart to the one who was nailed upon the cross. Render your heart to the one who paid the cost. If in the blood you believe, salvation you'll receive. Render your heart to the one who died on Calvary. Render your heart to the one who is nailed upon the cross. Render your heart to the one who paid the cost. If in the blood you believe, salvation you'll receive. Render your heart 
up to the one who died on Calvary. this man out there.
had hope in this life only, we'd be of all men most miserable. <laughs> Psalm ends each and every verse with for his mercy endureth forever. I found that to be true. Praise God. Yeah. 
more song. We get out of the way and make way for singers. Carson's coming to sing for you. And you all know they got a wonderful heart and wonderful family. We're thankful. Again, to be a part of this singing this weekend, I pray that something that we've sung or said here during our little part was a help to you. Help to go another mile for the Lord. God be willing, maybe we can all see each other again next year. Maybe before then. I hope so. But if not, I hope we all get to see. But if not, let's all stay prepared and let's meet each other. Over yonder in that great meeting place. I'm Monroe. About 70 miles.